will start with a video which is um, about a membrane peeling, a phaco vitrectomy. The surgery is completely unspecial. Two, three 23 gauge trocar cannulas, irrigation line. I just did the phaco, now light fiber and cutter. The surgery is completely unspectacular and this is so special about this video because I will um, show in a second the technical details and they are very special. So this is a corbitrectomy staining with um, membrane dual. You see that the vitreous is attached, so I will perform a posterior vitreous detachment. Very unspectacular, safe and easy surgery. Next step is membrane peeling with a 23 gauge forceps. Closure of sclerotomies. Well, and the special thing about this surgery is that it was done with a centurion cataract machine. No vitrectomy machine. I asked my nurse if I can do the same surgery with a dropped nucleus? She said no, because you cannot attach a phragmatome. So I gave up my plan and did other procedures. I will start with dislocated lens fragments. The lens capsule is intact. Please watch this video. Um, a gynec cataract surgeon calls me to the operation room and you see that there is a cortex fragment behind the lens capsule. Um, the lens capsule is intact. So I will insert a trocar cannula, 23 gauge of course. I'm working with the same machine as the cataract surgeon, infinity machine. And now I remove from past plana this cortex fragment. Very easy, very simple. Symmetry of vitrectomy. The lens capsule is intact. You can remove much more vitreous from pars plana than you can do from the limbus. The next thing I did was drop nucleus on the right hand side with perfluorocarbone, on the left hand side with the vitreous cutter for soft nucleus. So I will first show um, um, the drop nucleus maneuver with perfect carbon for a hard he nucleus. Symptom free. So this is a patient with a, a dropped rock hard nucleus. Now you see the dropped white. So this is a uh, complete mature nucleus. Corbitrectomy. One could an injection of perfluorocarbon extract or PFCL. Nucleus with a this substance tone. is heavy liquid and elevates the nucleus. Due to the hardness of the um, nucleus, the left hand uh, is a um, extract the nucleus Charles fluid needle via the interior chamber, which decompresses the globe with uh, while I inject um, perfluorocarbon. Next step is a knife scleral tunnel which we know from we the six technique with any this is the nucleus and in the next step 
I will extract the nucleus with a fish and hook between through the sterile tunnel. I bend a so called fish hook and extract the nucleus with this instrument through my frown incision. One can also use a loop or other techniques to extract this nucleus. So you see this is a very um, nice technique for hard nucleus. Next one is for a drop nucleus, a soft nucleus. Um, this you can remove with a vitreous cutter because as said the nucleus is soft and here is also epinucleus. So um, for soft nuclear fragments and epinucleus, a vitreous cutter is sufficient. After showing this video on my YouTube channel I received a comment. This was only a soft nucleus and not a hard nucleus. So I will I've asked my nurse again what about the phragmatome. But what is a phragmatome? A phragmatome is actually a fake handpiece without sleeve and a longer needle. If a phragmatome is a phaco handpiece, why can we not use a phaco handpiece for dropped nucleus surgery? I searched the, searched the literature and there was one um, publication from a Spanish um, surgeon who, who did the surgery with a vitrectomy machine. I thought it's time to try individual phaco with a cataract machine. And then a patient with dropped nucleus arrived. Please watch the video. I open the conjunctiva focally. And then I will do a perpendicular sclerotomy with a V lens from Alcon. I remove the sleeve from the FACO handpiece. I remove the irrigation line. Now this one has to be removed. <coughs> and the irrigation line you see is on the troca cannula. So there's only aspiration line on the FACO handpiece. The irrigation line is removed. And now on the right hand side you see the FACO needle. On the left hand side you see the child's flute needle and this is a hard nucleus which can be easily removed with this FACO handpiece. The settings are sculpting mode. The aspiration should be not higher than 100 mm mercury. A very safe and easy procedure. easier than with the phragmatome and the power is higher because you have ozel function using an infinity machine. A phragmatome has no ozel function. I pick up the fragments with the flute needle and remove them with the FACO handpiece. So um, <coughs> the um, the tubings go to the FACO machine and left tubing goes to the aspiration for in irrigation aspiration. You can use all different cataract machines, uh, Infinity, Centurion or Oatly. Um, they are all applicable for this technique. Then you need a trocar and need an irrigation line. 
both of them are available in packs from vendors for Aurolab, Mani Japan and FCI France. They have these packs containing irrigation line and trocars, reusable are available from Dork Netherlands. The setup is, you see on the left side is the irrigation handpiece as usual. On the right hand side you replace the irrigation handpiece with a um, irrigation line, which you place inside a trocar cannula and then inside um, the eye at pass plana. Vitrectomy settings <coughs> are shown here. Continuous irrigation is important. Use continuous irrigation. This vitrect equipment is um, of course a uh, light source and a light fiber. I use Synergetics USA and the light source is a photon light source here. The viewing system you can use a <coughs> viewing system from Oculus on the top side. On the low side you see a contact lens system from Aurolab India. The settings for FACO are sculpting mode the max aspiration of 100 mm mercury. Slotomy um, is perpendicular for the FACO handpiece, not lamella, and no trocar cannula because uh, it causes a met metal debrise. Uh, remove the sleeve and remove um, the irrigation line. And I asked Steve Charles um, why we use a fragmentome, not a FACO handpiece. You see that both handpieces are identical, but the fragmentome has a longer needle, which is important for long eyes. Is this correct? Actually, it is not. Both needles are have the same length. You look them from the top or from the side; it's actually identical. So a conclusion, drop nuclear surgery with the FACO handpiece is possible and uh, it is actually superior because OSL function is accessible. This is my next book which is uh, published in February. Thank you very much.